Welcome to Leading the Way, a video series about addressing challenges in biomarker testing. Today, you will hear important insights about biomarker testing standardization in advanced ovarian cancer from Dr. Robert Neff, a gynecologic oncologist, and Ms. Courtney Rice, a genetic counselor from TriHealth Hospital Healthcare System based in Cincinnati, Ohio. Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Neff, a gynecologic oncologist at TriHealth. TriHealth is a Cincinnati-based healthcare system operating four hospitals and more than 140 sites of care. Today, I'm here with my colleague, Ms. Courtney Rice, who is a genetic counselor and our director of precision medicine. Courtney and I have worked together on biomarker standardization efforts to help meet the institutional goal of being a leader in oncology. Our top priority has always been to ensure that our patients receive the best care. Through precision medicine, we can better partner with our patients to customize their treatment plans. We are very proud of what we've accomplished with biomarker testing standardization at TriHealth, and we would like to share our story with you. We will discuss the challenges we faced, the approaches we took, and the results of those efforts. In Chapter 1, we will cover how we formed a dedicated precision oncology committee to help us find solutions for our institution's testing needs. In Chapter 2, we talk about how we simplified our workflow, which made it easy for our staff to follow our internal protocols. In Chapter 3, we share how we monitor the status of our testing orders with the help of a designated testing coordinator. Lastly, in Chapter 4, we will discuss the importance of building strong relationships with our Information Technology Department and the benefits of embedding them into our standardization efforts. We hope that this discussion will inspire you to take on testing standardization at your own institution. Let's get started. In this series, we share strategies that we use to standardize testing for homologous recombination deficiency, also referred to as HRD, in patients with advanced ovarian cancer. First, let's discuss how we worked in multidisciplinary teams across specialties to develop solutions that met our institutional needs. We wanted to ensure that we could align our biomarker testing requirements in ovarian cancer with our institutional goal for testing standardization across oncology. We needed to address different testing needs across various tumor types and disciplines. To standardize testing across our institution, we first had to consider the specific test requirements for all tumor types. We needed a way to organize our staff so that we could plan, develop, and implement our standardization efforts. While we already had disease-specific work groups, we also formed a multidisciplinary precision oncology working group comprised of pathologists, genetic counselors, medical oncologists, our research team, administrators, pharmacists, and our information technology team. Through this group, we were able to address disease-specific testing requirements at an institutional level. This committee brought knowledge from their various roles to develop and implement new testing strategies. Additionally, we created the Precision Oncology lead role to help drive efforts towards adoption of an institution-wide testing protocol. Previously, I served alongside another genetic counselor as one of the Precision Oncology leads. In this role, I was a designated point person for the entire testing standardization process across all tumor types. We worked closely with the Precision Oncology work group to execute the plans they developed. With the work group and Precision Oncology lead position in place, we now had an effective and sustainable structure across the organization that currently serves as the foundation for our standardization efforts. To learn how we went about the next step in testing standardization, please watch the next chapter in our story. In this series, we share strategies we use to standardize testing for homologous recombination deficiency, also referred to as HRD, in patients with advanced ovarian cancer. Here, we will share how we streamline our workflows to better meet the needs of our patients and providers. Our previous testing process was inconsistent, and as a result, testing rates were lower than desired. To address this challenge, we created a flexible workflow with patient care at the core. 
With this new approach, we standardized referrals to genetic counselors, streamlined our germline and somatic testing ordering process through our preferred testing lab. The first area we looked at was our referral process. Initially, the primary nurse in the clinic managed referrals to genetic counseling. The paperwork and coordination was overwhelming when added to all their patient responsibilities. Now, the gynecologic oncologist can directly place the referral within the electronic medical record, or EMR, during the initial patient consult. By embedding referrals directly into the EMR, this eliminated the need to keep track of paperwork and it helped us monitor patient status. Once patients had been referred for genetic counseling, they were contacted by the scheduler to set up an appointment. At this stage, some patients were reluctant to receive counseling. So we trained our schedulers on how to address many of these patients' concerns. This helped some patients understand the importance of genetic counseling and provided the assurance needed to move forward. The next area we standardized was our ordering process. Previously, the gynecologic oncologist referred patients to genetic counseling for germline testing and ordered somatic testing directly. However, we found this approach was inefficient and cumbersome. Now, genetic counselors are responsible for requesting both germline and somatic testing orders directly from the EMR. In addition to ordering tests, since genetic counselors have knowledge of somatic testing, they can also educate the patients on what to anticipate from the somatic test results. We found that this approach was more convenient for patients since test ordering is more streamlined and patients are now able to receive additional counseling. Further, this strategy also helped alleviate the workload burden for some of our providers. We also specified preferred labs to use for testing. While there are many commercial labs available for biomarker testing, we wanted to be able to order and view results directly within our EMR. We also wanted a testing lab with a wide range of offerings to meet our patients' various needs. So, our Precision Oncology Working Group carefully selected a lab that met these criteria across tumor types. It may not always be possible to address workflow challenges directly in the EMR. However, if you consider opportunities to bring efficiency to your process through standard approaches and ordering, this can help meet your patients' needs. As a result of these changes, more patients kept their appointments and were tested. This approach was more efficient and allowed our providers to focus on patient care rather than paperwork and coordination. Lastly, this workflow could be easily revised to include guideline updates and accommodate new testing needs. To learn more about our biomarker testing standardization, please watch the next chapter in our story. In this series, we share strategies that we use to standardize testing for homologous recombination deficiency, also referred to as HRD, in patients with advanced ovarian cancer. Here, we will share how we monitored our testing orders with commercial labs. Monitoring the status for testing orders and addressing matters that required follow-up could be very time-consuming, and as a result, this would lengthen the time taken to receive test results. So we decided to transfer this task from the primary nurse in the clinic to a new role, the Precision Medicine Testing Coordinator. In this dedicated role, the coordinator acts as a liaison between the testing physicians and the commercial labs. They work closely with the local pathologist to ensure that the tissue is submitted. They follow up to make sure that the sample has met the quality control criteria and the results are being processed in a timely fashion. With the Precision Medicine Coordinator in place, we established a more efficient process for monitoring and following up with commercial labs. Overall, we decreased the turnaround time for receiving results, made treatment decisions more efficiently, and our clinical staff had more time to focus on patient care. To learn more about biomarker testing standardization, please watch the next chapter in our story. In this series, we share strategies that we use to standardize testing for homologous recombination deficiency, also referred to as HRD, in patients with advanced ovarian cancer. Here, we will discuss the importance of developing strong relationships with our information technology department. Since we use an electronic medical record, or EMR, for patient charts and to monitor critical aspects of care,
we felt that embedding our workflow into this system would be the most efficient approach for the medical team and the easiest way to track testing data. Because we decided to embed our workflow within the EMR, we knew to expect technical difficulties. If left unaddressed, these issues could derail our standardization efforts. Since the information technology department was so critical to our work, we have fully integrated them into our group. They attend all meetings and continuously work with us to keep our EMR systems up to date. As we were working to integrate aspects of our workflow into the EMR, our information technology team helped us find better, faster solutions. We've piloted this approach in ovarian cancer, and we have also been able to extend these solutions into other solid tumor teams. A deliberate effort is made to share the impact the information technology team's work has on patient care. This allows them to see the value of their work and how it really makes a difference. The information technology department became valued members of our team and came to better understand the impact of their efforts on patient care. They were able to proactively provide better solutions that met our providers' needs, and they were able to do it with efficiency. Additionally, the feedback the information technology team received from the clinical staff has really been encouraging and reinforces the value they bring to our institution. Our goal is to be a leader in oncology care, and biomarker testing standardization is key to meeting this goal. First, we formed a dedicated precision oncology committee that focused on development, planning, and implementation of our standardized strategies. Next, we revamped our workflows to better accommodate the needs of our providers and patients. We also designated a precision medicine coordinator to monitor our testing orders. Lastly, we forged a strong partnership with our information technology department, which helped ensure the biomarker testing was seamlessly integrated into the EMR. With these new approaches in place, we are now able to better serve our patients. More patients were appropriately tested, results were received more quickly, and providers expressed increased satisfaction. We hope you have found our experiences useful and we encourage you to move forward with your own biomarker testing standardization efforts. Thank, Thank you, you for, for your time. time.